Hi guys, welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico here. Just wanted to do a quick video regarding the changing of the ICM, Ignition Control Module, prior to picking it up from ALF. That was one of the last things that was done there. Uh, very important, I just wanted to mention that my engine, 1997 Ford 460 fuel injected, this is what the ICM it looks like ignition control module this has been known to be a problem with Fords and they usually quit suddenly while you're driving whatever what happens is that they heat up and they quit working and the engine will stall and die until this cools down enough for the engine to start again very important thing is if you change this part out make sure that whoever you buy it from gives you a black one. There is some discrepancy in the part number. It's erroneous. Most places know about it, but it can happen where you will get the wrong one of these and it will not work in, in your engine. This is the original one that was there from Ford. You can see it is in fact black. So if you were to use the part number here on the part, I'm sure you'd get the right one. But if you were to look up the part by VIN number and go to someplace like Rock Auto and look up ignition module for that engine, they may give you the wrong one. Another point I'd like to make is that in some of the videos that I watched and blogs that I read regarding the ignition control module, some folks were saying that you use um, dielectric grease on here on the mounting. That is incorrect. This is a heat sink compound, not dielectric grease. This helps this unit dissipate heat through the heat sink that it's mounted on. Also, this was mounted on my firewall behind the battery control center of the RV that I have. It was not near the uh, distributor, so you may not, you may not want to look there if your year is uh, the same as mine. It could be mounted on the firewall in various places from different manufacturers using the F53 chassis. If you were to use dielectric grease on here, it's only for the contacts. Dielectric grease, its purpose is to keep the contacts from corroding, to protect them, and also to help with uh, connectivity or uh, good, making good contact between the two parts of the plug. So remember, no dielectric grease on here, not the mounting part. The substance that you're looking for is called heat sink compound, and it's white and it comes in a tube. They don't even call it grease, they call it compound, okay? Just wanted to bring that up. So the two important things to remember, black ICM, ignition control module, heat sink compound, where it mounts onto the heat sink that's behind it, dielectric grease if you're going to use it for the contacts, which would be right in here, okay? So I hope that, that helps out and I hope it clears up some um, uh, problems or concerns you may have. Again, replacing this in my rig did not help the problem that I'm having. Uh, normally, this part fails, and when it fails, it's all of a sudden, and it takes it a while to uh, cool down and reset itself, but sometimes you can't even let it cool down and it won't work. So, um, just so you know, that's it. All right, guys. I hope that helps you out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.